habari zenu bwana sifiwe habari zenu bwana yesu sifiwe praise god amen amen my name is caroline wanjiko mwangi na nini first born wa the late bishop mercy and it is with great sorrow and pain in my heart that my mother left me bwana sifiwe na goda ko already ado i don't know na tazomete my tribute aini bwana sifiwe my mom was one of you and she has left i mean because so much has been said about my mother and i wish some were asking before going online to post information that is not from the family i wish that some of you came to hospital with me with my mother when she was really in need of you before going online on youtube to even post pictures that are not of my mother i have a young sister who is 8 years old how am i going to explain to that young child that whatever people are saying was a lie with images that are not of her mother damo zaiza tafadhali it is so painful very painful digeda mwana waku we akana hetukira ruo ndia ndiragerera ni i would not wish your daughter or your son to go through the pain i'm going through right now and i am begging you whoever has given information that is not right please rigone that afanali not even because of me but because of this young girl mama has left behind and delete all that you may do it for fame you may do it to get subscribers but what about us what about me and these children a mother living means i am now the first born in that family i am their mother damo zaida tafadhali the pain i'm going through let no other child go through imagine if this was your child tafadhali that is a prayer i had in my heart what i am going through singependa watu twenu wapitie and i will beg nitana ke gai dere amoe moyo inyo the aini dira imagogona ma aini enzeno dere amoe moyo don't wait to come to their functions when they are like this it is very sad munaitwa mahali mukaga godhi but this last minute you are here in hospital she was there for for about 5 days in the icu i wish to kill her for the for the komona and give her strength i'm begging you support each other when you are alive be there for each other the memorial be there for your friends when they are alive when they are like this they don't know anything the mirage my tribute losing a mother is a pain that i cannot describe in words it is impossible to move on from the memory of losing a woman who sacrificed happiness in her own life so that you could have a better one i wish you could hear me mom your death has caged me in pain in agony and in misery you have left when i needed you the most when i was about to accomplish all that you've always wished me to accomplish 
you have always believed in me and pushed me to being the best I could even when life was heaving down on you. I don't know where you found the strength not just to keep fighting but also to motivate me as well. Courage, happiness, smiles and hugs are just a few things that you never had in short supply. Such an inspiring legacy that you've left behind even though it took a lot of discipline and dedication to build all your brands. I will never forget how dedicated you are to educating us, disciplining us, guiding us. You always said that the only thing you could leave us as inheritance was education, since nobody can take that away from us. You always said that we were best friends, even though we fought sometimes. Your love felt so different since every day in everything you did, you always had us your children in mind. I'll never forget how you stood and cheered. That's my daughter. When my name was mentioned during graduation day, how you came looking for me in the crowd just to hug me and say that you're proud of me, mom. <laughs> You always celebrated my achievements more than I even did. You always taught me to be an independent woman and a fighter. Mom, you were that wise woman, God-fearing woman that saw things in a different perspective than anyone else. I'll never forget your quotes, Gaitiyoguo, Gainiyoguoge. My God will always provide with God, everything is possible. And she used to say, among many others. I miss the chats we used to have every night after work and how we would laugh out loud till neighbors start complaining. I miss the tight and warm hugs you gave me, your cooking, our girl dates, when you would brag to everyone that you are old since you have daughters in the university. How can I forget your beauty? My mother was so beautiful. <laughs> to a point, men were noticing you before they came to me. <laughs> On International Women's Day, my birthday, as I was taking you to hospital, I held you by your shoulders and celebrated you as a woman of character and a strong woman that I really admired. Till today, I don't really understand how you managed to be an MD to two companies, own other businesses, be a bishop, a musician, a counselor, a wife, and a mother as well. You're truly a woman of substance. I had to read a little. Sorry. Mama Yangu, I was with you every step of the way from when you became unwell. I had to literally leave school and work so as to take care of you. I would lie if I would say I loved seeing you in pain, but every day I had hope that when I drive you to the hospital, we will come back home you feeling better. I fought with doctors and security guards for you. I pushed doors for you. I cooked for you. I fed you. I made sure you followed the doctor's prescription. <laughs> I slept beside you. I prayed with you. And I even rode in that ambulance to Moranga Hospital with you. I made sure I was coming to see you in the hospital every day, cutting your favorite porridge. And I ensured that I followed everything the doctor said so as to improve your condition. I'll never forget the pain of not being allowed to go into the ICU to see you the Sunday I came to see you, Mom. I wish that now you were somewhere like that, somewhere I can fight my way into and come be with you. But now you're gone forever. I'll miss you so much, Mom. 
how I wish you can just wave at me and tell me that everything will be okay. But now you're lying lifeless. And so helpless before me. You looking so helpless and pale in hospital bed one day when I came to see you made me break down. I can never replace you with anything and anyone in this world, mom. You always said that I was your heart since I'm your firstborn. So even if you're gone, your heart is still here. Your heart is still alive and everything you wished for. I, your heart, will make sure it's done. I promise to make you proud and be the best other sister to my siblings, as you've always wanted me to be. Your last wish about us was that we stick together more than before, support each other, love each other, and be there for each other. If I had a chance to meet you for just one last time, I would just ask you to hug me tightly as you can. And I rest my head on your shoulder and cry till the tears run dry. But for now, rest in peace, Mama Yangu. Praise the name of the living God. Praise Jesus. Ahujia, mother Nyawasho. Bishops, mother Nyawasho. And everyone. Praise the name of the living God. Natutase, my men. Praise the name of the living God. Um, I'm Gloria Washiama, the second born to this family. And uh, I, would I would like not to talk much. But what I, I am saying before all of you is that I have never experienced pain more than this. The pain of losing a mother is the greatest pain I have ever experienced. I've gone through so much pain in my life, even in my age, I'm not that old, but I have gone through pain. But the pain of losing a mother is the greatest pain I have ever felt. Someone you used to go to each and every morning to ask for fair, just to go to school. Someone you used to hug every evening when you come back. It's the greatest pain that I have ever experienced. And I will never forget everything that my mother sacrificed for us. She sacrificed a lot. If anyone knows Bishop Masi Washiama, all she did was for our good. Everything revolved around her three kids. Everything she did. I am not ashamed to say my mother started a media house, not because she wanted so much money, not because she wanted to be rich, it's because my elder sister is doing journalism. So she wanted her to have her own business. So her main aim of opening Keheo TV was not for her, it was for this woman over here. She had told me before she rested, she said she will make sure when I'm in my third year or my fourth year, she will open a clinic for me. But now, she's uh, lifeless. I can't even call her and she answer. I can't even call her. I used to, to call her Mama Yangu because she also used to call me that because I'm named after the mother. And everywhere I go, everyone is like, it's, it's 
so hurting to see her like that. One thing that I am praying to God is for God to give us strength. And I know God is going to give us strength beyond everything that we are encouraging. God is going to give us strength. And we are going to walk the name of Washiama to higher heights. Kwenye meifikisha ni sisi tutayendelesha. So if you are waiting to see the name of Washiama ikiisha saizi, oh unto you. Oh unto you. The Washiamas we are going for. Whether the devil likes it or not, we are going far. And we are going to preach to that devil and we are declaring that no death is going to be seen in our family ever again. This is the last person I am burying. It is so hard to see my mother lying there, lying there, lifeless. She can't even respond. That is why I'm speaking out here. And if the devil has ears, he has to hear that I will never bury any other person in my life and I refuse in the name of Jesus. Praise God. But I just was if you were. I declare that the name of my mother will not go to drain. Before all these pastors, because I believe there is power over time. There is power over, over accepting. There is power over confessing. I confess this in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of God who liveth in heaven. We are not going to suffer. God is going to walk with us. God is going to be our strength. And on behalf of me and my sisters, I want to read this tribute. We, we wrote this together. And because my younger sister cannot, cannot read this, let me just read it for let me just read it. <clears throat> Mommy, it's still hard to believe that you are now gone. Not just gone, it's gone forever. We can't nag you anymore. We still can't believe the moment we shared are now memories. The way you used to laugh is still fresh in our minds. How you used to take us to big hotels just to make us happy. How you used to tell us we are your happiness. How we can forget, how, how can we forget how we, you valued our education? When people told you we are not going to make it in our education, you always used to prove them wrong by making sure we were in the best institutions and pursuing all of what we have always wanted to pursue. We were your pride and you kept reminding us of that. That was so evident by the way you sacrificed just to make us happy. We will never forget how you used to wake up to give us transport money to our schools. How you always reminded us that education is very important. How you even took us to school just to ensure that our progress is okay. And now, mom, you're no more. We may have so many questions that have no answers at the moment. But all we know is that we have lost a mother, a mentor. A spiritual parent, a fighter, a motivator. We promise never to disappoint you, mommy. You even, even if you're not with us, we promise to love each other and be there for each other as you always wished and you have always taught us. We promise to support your vision as always and keep your legacy. Hashtag Bishop Masewashiyama. Rest in peace, mom. We love you so much.